Charlie is a very strong and compassionate four and a half year old. He has a huge heart and all he wants to do is have fun. So we were told um, Charlie has spastic cerebral palsy. I noticed a change that he wasn't meeting developmental milestones when he was about six months old. We originally thought it was just his legs, um, but we do see some in his right arm. So we did a couple rounds of Botox and it seems to work very well, but for Charlie, it would wear off really quick. When we went to Dr. Daunter, she gave us some options and this is where we figured out the road to go with a rhizotomy. We all came to the consensus that we have to try. If it gives Charlie even slightly more mobility than he has now, then it's absolutely worth it. Selective dorsal rhizotomy is a neurosurgical procedure that's done to decrease spasticity or tight muscles in kids with cerebral palsy. It's often done at ages 3 to 10, and it involves a whole team of people from physical medicine rehab doctors, therapists, and a neurosurgeon, of course. During the procedure, I have wires that are connected to the child's muscles. And I use that to help make decisions about which of those reflexes or wires are acting the way they shouldn't. And we can make sure that we're addressing those during the surgery. And Charlie did a fantastic job. Afterwards, when I met with his mom, just a couple of days after the procedure, she said she walked out and knew immediately that something was different about him, that his body seemed more relaxed and that he was able to do things um, with his hand and with his legs that she hadn't seen before. Being able to offer this intervention early on and have a potential for a long-term impact on that tight muscle is really, really a great thing for a lot of patients. There you go. It goes Oh, you're right. What kind of sound might it be? Charlie, after surgery, was kind of slow at first to crawl, relearning the left, right, left, right pattern. But now he's just as fast as the kids. He calls it super sonic fast. Our future progress for Charlie would be that we would want him to no longer be in a wheelchair. Um, we would like to see him walking more, whether that's in the next couple years or you know several years down the road, that's what our goal would be for him. He's come a long way and he's got so much more work to do and he has so much more potential. There are days when things are harder than others and he sees things, why can't I like, still run like brother? But we have to remind him, you know, your surgery is not something that's gonna fix you overnight. It's something that's going to be a long-term process. The best thing I think that has helped since surgery is that he can stand straighter, his back is straighter, his gait is more flexible than what it was before. So that has made it so much easier for him to learn through his PT and OT. We're just so supportive and so happy to have the help that we've had and the, the route that Charlie's gone and we're very excited to see his progress and more progress in the future.